Let's kick it off. Let's do this. I was going to wait for some more people. It's, you know, it's a weird night for me. I usually go Wednesdays. Monkey Madman, real life, what's happening, guys? Um, before I jump into this, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm hoping some more people show up. It's a Saturday night. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, me personally, I'm, I'm not doing anything on Saturday nights anymore. So here I am doing a live stream Saturday night instead of Wednesday. Changing it up. What's up, Jacob? <laughs> hey, bro, John. Hey, bro, Oki. So, yeah, changing it up. Couldn't do it on Wednesday. Brett, what's happening? Jason, what's up, dude? Alex, what's up? Alex to Alex. Guys, I got to ask one favor here. Real life. What's up? Sorry. What's up, Ryan? Ivan, how you doing, man? Um, Something I found out. I was watching Alex Rudd's stream. First thumbs up. Appreciate that. Um, the more thumbs up that you get on the live, the more um, the more discoverable it is for people who aren't subscribed or anything like that. So this might be the only time I'm asking for thumbs up. Metalhead, what's happening? Carson, how you doing? Joe, what is up? Little Big Earl, how you doing, dude? Oh, the fights are on tonight, huh? Oh, Cody. See how far out of the game I am? Now I'm going to pull up MMA Junkie and start watching. Oh, man. Frank, what's up, dude? Yeah, guys, sorry about Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday was just, it was a weird day. Uh, I went fishing that day. Yeah, I think I went live that night or the, during that day. But the wife, she just had, she had a rough day. She had a rough day and need to put her first. So it was funny because when I got inside, she was like, you didn't have to do that. You still could have done your live stream. And I was like, no, no, it wasn't a trick. It's not one of those, you know, you go ahead and you do it if that's what you want to do. It was not one of those at all. I swear. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lonzo, what's happening? Calvin, how you doing? Glad you made it, dude. Um, yeah, YouTube fishing sucks. <laughs> but let me explain before we jump on the hate wagon here. Okay, let me explain. I got. I'm gonna be all over the place. You guys know me. It's it's all over. You know, it's just it's what it's what I do. Family, friends, then fishing. Fact, dude. Fact. God, family, fishing. That's that's it right there. <laughs> It was smart not to risk it. Savino, what's up, man? Still in my thoughts, brother. Still in my thoughts. Full armor, what's up? What's happening, my brother? Oh, unless you live in Florida. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday was an absolute. Wednesday was a two-fish day for me. Two-fish day for me and a one-fish day for Chris. And if Chris is only catching one, you know it's a it's a grind. And it was a jerk bait and a Texas rig kind of day. I'll put the video out for you guys. I will do that. I don't want to give you too many spoilers here. Head case, what's up? No, dude, this is, guys, this is the first weekend that I have taken off of fishing in close to a year. I'm coming up on my year mark on YouTube and fishing consistently. First weekend I've taken off. And I took it off just specifically for family. And I think I just, I mean, I say I needed a mental break, but today was absolutely beautiful. Tomorrow's going to be another nice day. So the itch is real. It's real bad right now. So, but yeah, took the day off today, taking tomorrow off. We've got a family friend. Um, her daughter is almost the same age as my son or my youngest son, Lawson. Her birthday party is tomorrow. So we're going to that. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Oh, metalhead, one fish day, dude. One's better than none. One is always, always better than none. Da, da. Sooner, what's happening, brother? How you doing, man? Yeah, you know, I think, I think I needed a break. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I needed the break. I just thought it was wise to take a break. I thought it was wise, you know. 
my wife, I'm telling you guys, I'm extremely blessed. My wife is so understanding about me fishing. She does not throw a fit. She does not complain. Nothing. So when I told her I was taking the weekend off, she was definitely skeptical of that. Very skeptical of me taking the weekend off. And, uh, but I did. And she's seen that and she's been, she's very happy. So, I mean, I should be good for a whole nother year. <laughs> Okie. <laughs> oh, time to admit that you're the better fisherman. Negative. Negative, sir. I will not admit that. There will be days where you will outfish me. What was it? Um, the last video. Uh, backyard. Greg chimed in. He was like, I thought Oki was going to outshine you that day. And I was like, well, it wouldn't be the first time you outshined me. That's a fact. You remember when we first started, Oki? God, that guy would outfish me all the time. That's how I kind of came up with this name, Oklahoma's Worst Angler. It was rough. It was very frustrating. Let's kind of get into this. Let's talk about why I think YouTube fishing sucks. Now, I want to say, I think, yeah, no, I don't think you're a lucky dude. You're just good. You were good. I got better. <laughs> I think YouTube fishing sucks because I'm going to do my best not to call anybody out because I, I've done too much of that in the past. I've named names. I've called people out. And then I upset people, and then all of a sudden they go and, you know, unsub from the channel, and then, I, and then I feel alone, like when I was like seven years old, and my parents left me at church, and I tried calling them, and I couldn't get a hold of them, and they kept trying to tell me, and they still try and tell me to this day that they did not leave me alone at the church. But I was there, and I was alone, and I was the only one there, and I know what I lived through. So... I don't want to lose people because I'm calling people out and offending people. I don't want to be alone again. But I'm probably going to call people out. That's just that's what's going to happen. Metalhead. I was really understanding about my need to fish as well. Can't wait till my... Heck yeah, dude. That is awesome. Heck yeah. Kenneth, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Hey, guys, that's a good point. And Oki, Oki told me about this. Um, he had to turn his bell off on the channel and then turn it back on because he was not getting notifications. My bell on his channel got turned off, so I was not getting notifications. So if you guys have the bell on my channel, turn it off, turn it back on, make sure that you're getting the notifications when the videos go live or just when they go up. <laughs> Kenneth, I enjoyed being called out and offended. What did I miss? Not missed anything yet, dude. Mike Seal, what's up, dude? Sicily. Well, Mike, tell Sicily I say hello. And if she's watching, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. YouTube fishiness. I yeah, you you know I've been texting about it. That's a fact, man. That is a fact. Dude, okay. So, Metalhead, talking about how it's been rough starting up. Dinsmore, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Um, the thing about... What's up, Big John? Your new channel name throws me off, dude. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known. It was Okie's. It was Okie's Live, and I was like, who? Why is he saying Big John? Big John's not on there. Um, luckily, I, I paid attention. So, yes. Fishing with Alex trying to swirl the drama. I think that's a good thing to do, dude. I... I don't shy away from it, um, and, you know, maybe that's brought me some of my success, if you will, but I just keep it real. I keep it real on the channel. So, what's up, HB Fishing? How you doing, man? So, the reason I think that YouTube fishing sucks, some of it sucks, is let's think about all the stupid freaking viral videos, okay? The viral videos upset me. And the viral videos I'm talking about, I'm talking about guys that, and I know for a fact that because I've been told about some of these guys, I'm going to try and try and stay up with the comments here. Talk that will keep a fish, you know, a four pound fish or a five pound fish or even bigger out of the water for minutes on end. 
just to get the right shot, just to get the right release, just to hold it up, just to frame it correctly. You're talking about guys that will sit there and say, okay, let me watch the video back while they're holding the fish. Holding the fish, let me watch that video back, bro. Okay, yeah, no, I didn't like it. Let's let's redo that. No, I didn't I didn't bring the excitement. I didn't bring the hype. I didn't do this, I didn't do that. That's not healthy for the fish. And that upsets me. That drives me absolutely crazy. So I don't like that. Um, I don't like let's go grab some Lincoln logs and build a lure and try and catch a fish on that. We know, I mean, you can pretty much throw anything out there, and if a fish is hungry in the right time of day, the right season, the right state, you're going to catch a fish on just about anything that you want to, okay? But these videos go viral, and then you got guys that, you know, are trying to start fishing. And I'm speaking from my personal experience. When I first started fishing, again, and I did not know how to throw a freaking Texas ring. I was that, I was that green into it. It upset me so much when I would go and try and watch a video on that and you know, you got someone like Debo's Fishing, someone like Backyard or Ten Horse Monty, you know, talking about this is the technique to use for throwing a shaky head, for working a jig. And these guys, you know, have less than a thousand subs and they're given so much information about fishing and helping the younger generation coming up or the new fishermen coming up and they're not getting any kind of any kind of recognition whatsoever because they're not out there doing viral videos. They're not doing, let's buy the most expensive reel on Amazon. They're not doing, you know, the most expensive reel sent to me from Academy. They're not doing a, oh man. Oh. I'm trying not to call people out. I'm trying not to call people out because I like some of these guys' fishing videos. I like some of them. Kicking their bass. I really thought that he had turned the corner. Here I go calling somebody out. I really thought that he had turned the corner and was going back to fishing videos. And then I see, let's make a lure out of Legos. And then it was, let's make a lure out of an iPhone. And who knows what he's going to try and make a lure out of next. But again, what's the point? It's cool. Absolutely. They're fun to watch. They're fun to watch. And that's the other side of the YouTube fishing is we like to watch stuff that is fun to watch. I mean, that's that's what it's about. But YouTube fishing sucks because you got guys out there that are giving solid quality information that don't get the recognition, the recognition that they deserve because they're not taking, you know, 20 minutes outside of the water with a fish or, you know, building some ridiculous lure. They're just out there fishing. And I think that that I think that we need to change that. I know I'm small. I know I'm nobody. But I think that if we can all just start pumping out actual fishing content and not worry about making it perfect. Me and Oki were talking about this, and he was talking about getting everything framed correctly or having the perfect cast or, you know, like you want to try and portray fishing as you don't want to put a video up when you get skunked. That's what fishing is. You got to you gotta stay true to yourself. So the guys that are new to fishing and you go out there and you get skunked, and, you know, don't have the best commentary or anything like that, and you get discouraged and you don't want to put the video up, put it up. Put the videos up. You got to be real. You got to be real 100%. My thought process is going to come back to me. I got off on a tangent there. I'm going to try and catch up here. Lunkers, yeah. Lunkers is one that that guy I really disappointed. Really disappointed. I, I started watching him. Liked him a lot, and then he, mm, yeah, that guy, I don't know if he really enjoys fishing as much as he portrays himself to. All right, let's catch up here. Metalhead, yes, thank you. Oki, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up. Thank you, dude. White Whale, Cray Cray, what up, dude? How you doing, man? <laughs> She's eight. Dude, Mike, that's awesome. Sicily, I'm glad I made your night. I like that. Oh, man. Okay, all right. Sick of the challenge videos. My wife picks my baits. That crap. Yeah. Uh, you know, the I have $25. Let's go to Academy. I have $50. Let's go to Academy. 
I mean, again, you can literally throw the right time of day, the right season, the right state, the right body of water. I could throw this by itself and catch a fish. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Fish are going to bite. You can't make them, but they're going to. All right, let's see here. Metalhead, thank you. Frank, the Walmart challenges and the dumpster diving videos kill me. <laughs> me and Frank have talked about that. I talked about, you know, I've thought about making spoof videos of these guys. But again, I mean, it would kind of be that I'd fall into the same category that I talk to them or that I talk about them as if I was making spoof videos over their stuff. And I don't know, again, it just, it irks me. It irks me personally. And I know there's going to be times where, you know, I come out with some off the wall type video and I'm going to do it because I get in these crazy moods. You guys remember Clay Tarjay? I'm bringing him back. Clay Tarjay is coming back. I think he's on his way back from Colombia right now. I don't know what he was doing down in Colombia. I don't want to know what he was doing in Colombia. <sighs> if I know it's going to take me a minute for a photo op, I'll hold him in the water until it's go time. Yeah. And, dude, there's so many times that I go back and think about a day of fishing, and I didn't take any pictures. I did not take any pictures. And I'm like, damn, I could have had all that. I could have had a picture for the gram, you know, but I didn't do it. And I think it's just I'm so concerned with fish out or fish in, get it on video, show it, weigh it, get it back. Sometimes you give them a little kiss, a little flip. That's it. Flarmer knows what I'm talking about. White whale, those punks don't care about the fish. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. They got way, way down here. All right. Let's try and catch up here. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to read here. Um okay. Wired to fish. Yep. That's a fact. I don't watch much of them, honestly. Spit and dip and, <laughs> and the truth. Hell yeah. Less lunkers and more other guys. Yeah, you know, definitely. Definitely some of these other guys. Debo's a good dude. Very good, dude. Stupidity sells. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Dynamite challenge incoming. The big broadcasters make content gear for 10 to 16 year olds. We know this. Yep. Richard Gene is one of the few. <laughs> yeah. Lojo is definitely one of the guys I'm talking about. That's a fact. They care about they care more about views and content. Yep. And that's the thing. I think that eventually these guys that are doing these videos, the shine's gonna wear off. The shine is one hundred percent gonna wear off. Now, Yak Pack, I'm sure he's a good dude. I'm sure he's a good dude. But the I'm I'm baffled that he threw off three swim baits in one video. I'm baffled that he doesn't understand the concept. And maybe he does. And maybe it was just bad line that he had, but I'm pretty sure he's throwing like 40 to 50 pound braid with, you know, two and a half ounce swim baits, like the antidote from Bait Sanity. And I mean, I, I saw him throw off three swim baits in one video and the rod wasn't meant to handle it. 50 pound braid, you may think, oh, 50 pound, plenty strong. 50 pound braid is almost a diameter of like 15 pound fluoro or mono. It's very, very thin. That's why his line was biting into the spool and breaking off and just sent that bait sailing. These guys, these are all things, I mean, I had to learn myself, but I'm not going to go out there and throw a swim bait or a buddy swim bait on line that is not capable of throwing that or a rod or a reel that is not capable of throwing that. Just things that you think a big fishing YouTuber would know and would do correctly especially when there's guys watching. I mean, imagine that you go out and you spend 25 bucks on a bait sandy antidote because you saw Yak Pack, throw it out there, catch a fish. You're like, I can do that. So you go out there and you throw it and you get two or three throws in there. And then all of a sudden you go to cast and your line bites in the spool and you send it flying. It's 
Swim bait's gone. Never seeing that again. And you wouldn't know because he doesn't break down why. All he said was, I don't know why that happened. I don't know why that happened. You got to know, you got to know what goes into that style of fishing. And you would assume that these guys with hundreds of thousands of subs on YouTube would understand those things. But they don't. Maybe he does. And he just doesn't say it. But I don't think he does. Real good information gets thrown by the wayside for hype beast garbage. Yep, that's a fact, man. That is a fact. Yes. Mikey Balls, Alex Rudd. Exactly. Dude, those dudes. I like watching those guys a lot. Thank you, Full Armor. <laughs> Big John, I've been known to keep fish out of the water for a few minutes. I don't agree with that, dude. I don't agree with it. You know me. I just, I do not agree with it. I'm talking like, if you're keeping a fish out of the water for like four or five minutes, I don't agree with that at all. I'm, I'm not on board with that, man. I just, and again, I'm talking about the guys that do that just to get, you know, the right video or the right picture or anything like that. I think that is, I think it's 100% unnecessary, 100% unnecessary. There are so many times I wish I would have kept the fish out and I would have gotten more photo ops and I would have gotten more video of it, but I'm not going to do that to a fish. If I don't get it the first time, that's bad on me, but I'm not going to do that to a fish. Miles, tactical bass, and dude, those guys know. Very, very knowledgeable, 100%. Exactly. See, Big John, that's why I show skunk videos from time to time. Yeah, I mean, that's true fishing, dude. True fishing. Dinsmore. Lojo's the one that went way too... Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Vindictives? How you doing, man? Appreciate that. I know and I love Lojo, but he's starting to get that way too. Dude, I, I started out liking Lojo until, until I had some conversations with him. And I'm I'm not I'm not a big fan of the guy at all anymore. He's not on my not on my like list whatsoever. Um, yeah, talking about lunkers going out and buying storage units. Um, Jason Beck can't stand Lojo and Yak Pack. All those guys are Dugan wannabes. I think the biggest Dugan wannabe would be Weston Smith. Here I am calling people out. Um, Kenneth Elliott. Lunker, when fishing gets hard, I buy storage units. Dude, and, you know, at the same time, I got to respect Lunkers and his business hustle because he knows that those storage unit videos got a lot of views, and that makes him money. And But that's why I lost respect for the guys of Fisherman because, like you kind of said, when fishing gets tough, and I don't know if it was because the fishing got tough or what or if he just saw dollar signs. And he's got the audience to where he can do that. He can sit there and turn right around and never fish again. And he's still going to have a million subs because he's built an audience. He can go do anything and make it fun and make it go viral. So he can't hate on the guy for wanting to make money and wanting to better his life and, and you know, support his family. But as a fisherman, yeah. 100%. I think you have every right to be upset with that. I grow when you can't compete with all those big, dumb challenges. Yep. But I really think that the big, dumb challenges, the shine will wear off. Guys, I'm telling you, stick to your grind. The shine's going to wear off. What's up, OK Bassmaster? How you doing, dude? River fishers need to take that advice about getting skunked and not posting. Yep. 100%. You want a, a little secret on how to get you know successful if you will on youtube is it's not people will i will have this argue all argument all day when you are new and starting out on youtube quality content go with quantity content over quality quantity all day quantity you want to pump videos out pump videos out you think about go back to casey neistat that guy he blew up because he went, I think, a year and a half of vlogging every single day. Now, I'm not telling you to go vlog every single day and go fish every single day, 
But when you do that, you have a better chance of getting put on the discover page or getting put in, in front of someone's face because you are pumping out content every week, every week. That is a lot better and a lot bigger than trying to have something cinematic and some kind of quality content to where you're only putting a video out once a month. You think about, think about yourselves, the channels that you watch, if a channel falls off and you don't want, and you don't see a video from them for like a week and a half, two weeks, you forget about them. I know I'm guilty of that. I have forgotten about so many channels because of that, because they're not consistent. So consistency is key. Go with quality over or go with quantity over quality. <laughs> Alex, go with end painting the bathroom. H HB fishing. Yeah, we do anything. People will do anything to get a view. That's a fact, dude. That is a fact. Um uh, okay, let me catch back up here. I'm trying to catch up here, guys. Show that. Show that. I got some new people in here. Guys, sorry. I, I'm trying to catch up. Um don't <laughs> jump behind trash cans. Debo's a great dude. That's a fact, Tony. I love talking to Debo. You know, I have some good conversations. Um let's see here. I'm trying to find my best show, my best to show some techniques that work for me in my area. Good. Dude, fishing with Alex, that, that's what you want to do. Show what works for you. It may not be the best. It may not be, you know, what you want it to be. It may not work for everybody, but I guarantee, you know, you show a technique that works for you, you might help someone out that's never even tried that before or never thought about trying that. We got 51 people in here. That's the most I've ever seen. What is up? Bro, the first video I watched was Clay Tarjay and I subbed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Clay Tarjay. I'm telling you, he's coming back. He's on his way back from uh, Columbia right now. Uh, I'll see these guys also start a trend, and they do the exact same thing. Nothing original with those guys. True. Very true, Jason. The trends. Trending. That's something that you can't beat. You can't beat trending. When it's trending, it's trending. It's up there. And I think when it's trending, you know, if you're new and you want to get out there and you want to get your name out there, Jump on the bandwagon. Ain't going to get any hate from me. But when you consistently do dumb challenge videos and you're not fishing just to fish, that's – but, I mean, it's your channel. You can do what you want. I'm just sharing my personal point of view, my the way I feel about stuff. All right. Couldn't agree more with this topic. Thank you. Appreciate that. Even though some tactical bass and sometimes go to the super experienced gear – Still great info. Yes, absolutely, dude. And they do, I mean, they sit there and talk about, you know, budget-friendly gear, budget-friendly equipment, and they're, you know, throwing $500 mega bass rods. But they've got it. They've got it there. If you have it at your disposal, 100% use it. But you can take a lot of what they're saying and put it into practice for what you have available. Oh, real life. Favorite. Oh, man. I'm glad you brought that up because that made me think of something. Now, Fish Hook Terry. Good dude. Talked to him a couple times. Him jumping off and leaving favorite, I, I didn't watch the video. I didn't watch the video, so I'm not going to talk about the video because I don't know what he said. I know round about what he said, but these guys that are pretty much pissing and moaning – because and why they're leaving favorite i'm leaving favorite because i didn't get paid i didn't get money i sent them so many sales i did this i did that big fucking deal bro nobody is entitled to anything especially with favorite okay i love favorite rods i love them you know and i have different rods as well but i don't understand what these guys think they are entitled to when favorite has got professional fishermen They've got pros that are on TV using their rods. 
getting paid, contracts. Why are people, why are YouTubers so upset with favorite and they're leaving favorite? I mean, we know why a lot of them are because, you know, they're going to go jump on the Guggen Rod train. But guys are getting so upset and leaving favorite because they didn't get what they thought they were entitled to. Big deal. You're not a professional fisherman. You're a YouTube fisherman. And there ain't nothing wrong with being a YouTube fisherman. But we're not entitled to anything, you know, without a contract. Favorite, good on them. They brought on pro staff and pro staff, <laughs> what is it, promotional staff. It's free advertising. You see somebody with, you know, hundreds of thousands of subs on YouTube using a favorite rod. I'm going to go buy that rod. I want to check that out because so-and-so is using it. That's easy money for favorite. They did the right thing. But these guys getting upset and leaving favorite, you're not a pro, bro. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. I'm not going to follow the trend. I'm not going to leave favorite. I love favorite. I've had no, nothing but good things to say about them. They won't bring me on as pro staff. I've asked. 100%. I have asked, and they will not do it. I'm not leaving. I don't care. If it works, it works. Big Dreaming, what's up, bro? Bruce Living, how you doing, man? Oh, Matt from SB Fishing. That is a good dude. Yes, that guy is a very, very good dude. Someone said Oki. God, I'm, I'm so, I'm so far behind here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, anybody else notice that Milliken copies Googans all the time? He started a podcast like a week or two after John B and Perrick. Just like, a, yeah, I just did a trapping video. Yep, I've noticed that too. And Milliken, again, that kind of comes back to the subject of trending. Like, I think Milliken's a great fisherman. That dude catches fish, and he has worked. He has worked. I mean, the dude used to fish, like, collegiate series stuff. Like, he's been on tour. He's, he's fished. He's a great fisherman. But, again, he's doing what he feels is right for his channel to help grow it. And I didn't watch the trapping one because I'm not going to watch that stuff. I don't watch Milliken to watch him trap. I watch, I mean, I watch the stuff where he goes over to his buddy's house that has the pet fish. I think that stuff's cool. I like that stuff. But, I mean, yeah, 100%, Brenton. But it proves your point that he is trying to get to that. Yeah, <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Tony B., Congrats sooner. As soon as you catch a fish, did you get out that skunk? You did. I saw that on Instagram, dude. I'm sorry, man. Oh, uh, let's see here. 570. My look on it. If you make a YouTube or fishing YouTube, it should stay fishing. Maybe a little hunting, but but not what you're eating for the day or whatever. Yeah. I agree with that 100 percent I think that's why some of those guys have gone out and made separate channels. So 54 people in here. What is up, guys? If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up for me. Guys, we want to get... I want to. I want this to be like the highest liked live stream that we've had yet. Um, Let's see here. I'm struggling to pump content, but doing my best to get one video up a week. Dude, Fishing with Alex, that's what, that's what matters, dude. Like, just do what you can. Go out there and go fish. And again, if you get skunked, here's another tip for you guys. Talk. Your inner, like your inner monologue, what you're thinking that day, talk. Put it on camera because you never know when you go back and start editing what you may have said for a thought process that you know you wish you would have said in the video that you can go back and actually have that in there. Because you're going to have someone chime in and say, well, maybe you should have done this. They're going to help you out. So pump the content. Uh-oh. My back? I think it froze up there. I don't know what happened. All right. Let's try and catch up. Okay. That would be me, at fellow Oki. Yeah, dude, Oki. Yeah, sooner fishing. Talk to him quite a bit. Videos like this while you're equipped to come. Thank you, Lonzo. Appreciate that, dude. Um, 
I have to call in to tell you what my what chaps my height. <laughs> Can't write it all in the comment, but you're definitely right about that. Expect some videos. Yeah. Yep. No hate to Lonkers. I understand the money and the business. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Jeremy, what's up, dude? It's all good, man. Me and Jeremy were talking earlier today. Jeremy stuck it out today, grounded out, and did not get that skunk. Props to you, brother. Good freaking work. Miles Martin, I like Pig Patrol. Yeah, dude, Ty's a funny dude. Ty is a funny dude. Ty has got the GoPro fish eye wide angle fish look down to a T. Like how this looks right here. You can straight arm something. Sorry for this fish. But we're talking like that wide angle. Dude, Ty has got that down. 100%. And that's just because I understand camera stuff. Budget fishing is very popular. Dude, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. Milliken is a little high strung. I think I think Milliken I think Milliken likes his uh his little stims. You know, little stimulants. I know I do too. Hell yeah, I'm monster out monstered out all day. So I get through the day with all these kids and all this work that I gotta do, third shift type stuff. Mike Smith. <laughs> Best fisherman in Oklahoma. I'm Oklahoma's worst angler, bro. That is it. The worst. Ain't nobody going to take that title from me. Oh, just kidding, dude. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, Alex Rudd is, yeah. I've been, Rudd has been a guy that I've been uh, a big fan of for a long time. Oh, yeah, there was a GoPro lure video. Thank you, Norfolk. Yeah, I talked about that. The Lego, the iPhone, GoPro. I'm telling you, like, I don't know who remembers Lincoln Logs, but that's probably going to be the next one. Who can make a Lincoln Log lure next? That'll be the next challenge video. If someone does that, I want some royalties to that. That's it. I just want to get paid because that was my idea. Lincoln Logs. Old school. <laughs> oh, no one wants to shower with you, Elkie. Not at all. Underwater porcupine. My issue is having someone something to say to the camera while fishing. Dude, I, I'm telling you, underwater porcupine, I used to be just as guilty of that until I really started thinking and being more conscious of vocalizing the internal monologue. That helps a lot. <laughs> catching up, catching up. Cast king or bust, Big John said. Dominic, what's up, dude? Entitled. Thank you, bro. Calvin, why aren't there 50 thumbs up for this man? Dude, we're right about there. 58 people in here. Woo! Man, I might have to do more Saturday nights. <laughs> Grumpy Bear, how you doing, dude? Feeling a self-entitlement, want handout instead of appreciation, the hand up with what they got. Yeah, talking about the favorite. Yep. Big difference between content and content between these guys that do it for a passion, not for a job. Yes, and you can tell, yeah. Sean, what's up, man? Sorry, I was just reading your comment. Um, yeah, Sean, nail on the head, dude. You can tell when these guys are passionate about fishing or if they're doing it just for the sake of creating content, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, Bassmaster, I agree with that 100%. If I had the money, I'd use favorite rods, but I don't say, dude, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with lose, ugly stick, H2O Express, nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have the best stuff. You know, I got into it, and it's kind of like when I got into my whole camera career, I wanted the best of the best of the best, and spent a lot of money. And that's why, I mean, I had someone, I think it was Tim, uh, Tim Perry, he asked me the other day, he was like, when are you going to get a St. Croix or a Dobbins? And I was like, when someone wants to chip in and help me buy one, I've got so many rods right now that I don't need, I don't, really don't need to go buy another one. But I, I'll probably scrape some money together and get a Dobbins because he called me out on that. So, 
Lonzo Milliken's my favorite, but hate to see him going down that path. Dude, I don't know that he's going down that path. I, I want to pump brakes. I don't want to assume that Milliken is going down that path. I want to say that it was literally just, you know, maybe a whim. I I hope I hope as well, dude. I don't want to see him, you know, try and start coming out with trapping videos and hunting and all this other stuff, unless he's doing it just to purposely piss some of his old Guggen buddies off. In that case, more power to him. Piss people off all you want. Trigger everybody. Um, but if I, okay. Wes, sorry, I skipped right over there, right there. What kayak would you recommend for a first yak? One to get off the bank, but can't afford a big boat. Dude, I think that when you get into a kayak, if you've got the money, get get something that is going to be wide, that's going to be stable. Um, something I don't think standing up is 100% necessary. Um, Feel Free makes really good kayaks. I had the Big Fish 105. Big Fish makes really good kayaks as well. Um, the 110 or the 120 Big Fish, they're like only a hundred dollar difference. Those are great. Um, John Oki, he's got the Ascend 12T, uh, 12 foot kayak, and it's fantastic. So, um, Old Town. Old Town makes some really good kayaks as well. Uh, Big John, I can't remember what you're in, dude. Um, oh, man, I cannot remember. But, yeah, I'd say like something like Feel Free, Big Fish, Old Town. Those are great, great kayaks. Oh, dude, John, if I'm way behind, Andrew, hey, buddy. <laughs> if I'm way behind, tell Andrew I said hello. Um, my wife won't let me get a big, a big pool to make a bass habitat. Dude, I don't want that either. I don't want that's that's too much stress. I'm, I can't keep a gecko alive. <laughs> oh man. Well, fishing Lone Stars here. What's up, Jeremy? I'm trying to catch up here. Ever get your truck back? Did did Clay ever get his truck back? I have no idea. I assume so because, like, like I said, last I heard he was down in Columbia on his way back. I don't know, but I know those grave diggers were hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, Big John said, "Yep." Ryan Nelson, what's up, dude? Okay. Close the live chat, hit thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, River. Let's see here. Don't hate them trying to make a buck. Yes, exactly. Can't hate on people for trying to make a buck, but when it comes down to fishing, just trying to learn fishing, challenge videos, I, I can't. I can't do them. One after the other. Ten Horse Monty, what is up, dude? How you doing, Gabe? I actually talked about you earlier. Guggen is the Jake Paul of fishing. <laughs> That's funny. What grinds my gears, as they say, is how you how many YouTubers have jumped on the Guggen bandwagon and can't seem to make a video without plugging them. Yep. Yep. And you know what? I was 100% guilty of that. I was a 100% Guggen fanboy when I started out. And I have no problem admitting that. And it was because that's when those guys... Lunkers especially, who is the guy that I watch the most. Um, just the whole military, prior service to prior service, I felt like I just really connected with him. And I 100% jumped onto that Guggen train, and I was riding that hard. Um, but that was until you know I started learning more about fishing and trying different stuff and learning why and experimenting with different baits. And I... I I did a barrel a barrel roll off that train a long time ago. Big John said he's on it. He's on that Guggen train. People are gonna try and get on the Guggen train to try and get views. And I mean, I get it. Like I've I've made some videos, you know, putting Guggen in the title. It'll get you views, one hundred percent. Will it get you retention? I don't believe so. I do not believe so. And that's the thing. Do you want views or you want retention? Do you want a viral video that's gonna get, you know? A million views or do you want consistent videos that are going to get thousands of views because that's what's going to pay off in the long run the shine will wear off hmm. 
<laughs> Tony B. Dude, we can start a worse anglers club. 100%, bro. We can start that. A couple of them going live now. Or a couple of them going now. Let's see here. Dink bros. Catching fish on a rock. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, see? Jeremy. Can't do the challenge fishing videos anymore. Time to move on to the next fad. Along with the hashtag we're with. Along with bashing companies need to no longer use. Yes, dude, I, I talked about that already. 100%, Jeremy, I, I talked about that. I talked about how, <sighs> golly, let's think about this. I actually looked back on Fish Hook Terry's channel and watched some of it. Like, I looked at some of his videos, and we're talking, you know, like 1,000 views, 2,000 views, 3,000, back to 1,000, anything like that. Why he left favorite? <laughs> Like over 10,000 views. 100%. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should hold up all my favorite rods and be like, I'm leaving favorite. Here it is. And then just completely lie to you guys. Never leave favorite. Just to get views. Maybe I should do that. I'm just kidding. I will not do that. Dinsmore, take care, dude. I missed him. I missed him. Nor for you know, keep fish out long. Fish toss. <laughs> the old fish toss. Dude, I've done that. I've done the freedom toss behind my back. I've flipped them. The thing about old Mogi, old Josh, when he's doing that, he is right by the bank, right behind him. But I know the guys that you're talking about. There are guys that are sending fish flying 100%. Yeah, I, that's that's the kind of stuff. Uh -uh. Oh, Milliken deleted the trapping video. Dang. He must have got a lot of hate on that. If you delete a video, you got a lot of hate. You did something wrong if you delete a video. That's crazy. I did not know that. Hmm. Let's see here. OW, get you a boat and use all the rods you have. Yeah, dude, I would love, 100% love to have a boat. Oh, wife texted me. Hang on here. Um... Almost done. About time to put the kids in bed. Vibe. Yeah, the sea ghost. Yeah, Big John's got the, the sea ghost. That's what it is. So, okay, last I saw here. Oh, man. Let's go back up here. Let's go back up. Whoa. Oh, man. All right. River just got his first fish or favorite rod. I know you're going fishing tomorrow, dude. Um, Gavin, quantum bait casting reels. I have no experience with quantum. I got a lot of buddies that have them and love them 100%. So I've had quantum spinning reels all throughout the years and never had an issue with them. So I assume their bait casting reels are great. But again, I don't have any experience with them. So I couldn't tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, Oki. Thank you. Do we have color, color matters when bass fishing? Why or why not? Mm. I think color 100% does matter. And I'm actually going to put that to the test in the upcoming video. Um, I think where color doesn't matter as much is going to be top water. You know, I think it would depend on the time of day. And think about the contrast of a white bait to a darker bait. You know, a fish looking up and what's going to contrast better against the sky. I think that's where color doesn't matter as much as far as what's on the top of the bait. You know, the crazy color schemes, anything like that. But in the water, yes, 100%. I do think it does matter. Um, you always want to try and match the hatch. That's what you want to do. But you want to have a lure or a bait stained water dirt like darker is going to be better um but top water i think is where it's not going to matter as much like think about the jack of pompadours those guys i mean sick looking baits they're insane the paint jobs on the paint schemes 
Mega Bass, those two. Um, top water doesn't matter what's on the top of the lure because that fish is looking at it from below or is looking up at it. What's going to matter the most is what they're seeing from above. But as far as in the water, yeah, I think color matters 100%. Um, I've had plenty of times going out fishing. It was December, and I think Oki was throwing, I don't know what color of plastic he was throwing at first. Uh, he and I were both throwing a Rage Bug. I was throwing a Falcon Lake Craw. He was throwing a different color, and the red was getting it done. And they were 100% keyed in on red. So I do think it does matter. Try and catch up here because I'm about to wrap this up here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. We should do a not doing a challenge video challenge. <laughs> yeah, we should start a trend of just fishing and not doing and not doing challenges. Frank, you know I'm not hating on Guggenbaits, dude. No, I'm not hating on that. I still got some. I got them just sitting in my drawer. I'm I'm going to be giving them away eventually. I'm going to scroll down here and try and catch up on this stuff, guys. Okay. Let's catch up. Yeah, did delete the, okay, all right. Did delete the trapping video. Let's see here. LFGs and luckers for me, okay. Am I the only one who can never catch anything on a Senko but has worked for them because people say it works? <laughs> Dude, it took me a long time to get the Senko to figure that out, figure out how to use that correctly and get on with that. Um, let's see here. Got some conversation going on there. Jonathan, ODBA, he never gives BS. That's a fact. Thank you, River. Jonathan, welcome in, dude. Smith Vegas, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Talking about Cast King. Cast King is legit. I love Cast King stuff. Anybody fishing East Texas, I'll be marking all my catches on the Fish Life app community page. That's from Big John. East Texas, Big John is going to be marking his catches. Jonathan, Royal Legend after three months broke. Dang, man. I did not have the Royal Legend. I had the Royal Legend Elite. I've got two of them. And, I mean, I haven't thrown them in quite a while. But the Royal Legend Elite, that five-gear ratio, I've got that for my crankbait. 100%. I've got I've got really good really good luck with that. Oh, and I, yeah, the Mega Jaws. Oki's got the Mega Jaws. I got the Mega Jaws and that nine one gear ratio. So man child going fishing. I'll go and hunting that double D in the morning. Dude, I love me some double Ds. I love me some double D. I want that double digit. I'll try and get on that. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, casking for the money is definitely hard to beat. One hundred percent. Man, child, lake. I like the Lake Fork Hyper Sticko Senkos. Haven't tried those. Have not tried those yet. Smith Vegas, dude. I hope so, man. Hundred percent hope so. Oak is talking about the SLX. Guys, if I if I missed a real question, I'm sorry. Um, Roy Legend Elite. Yes, full armor. That's what I'm talking about right there. Think about getting the Shimano SXDL or SLX DC. Yes. Lonzo, I actually have the SLX DC. Thank you, Yanoki. Love that reel. Um, I actually caught my first fish on it just this week. So I'm going to have that video out next week because I've got another video to do. I'm going to try and have out probably Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday morning or evening. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Just had to spend, send a Spartacus back. They are sending me another. Yeah. Oki dropped a Spartacus in the lake. I remember that. Hmm. Oh, nice, dude. Heck, yeah. Metalhead. <laughs> you got the, 
got the footage of you falling in the pond. Just talked it out. Good. Ah, uh, Tin Horse. How long did it take for the monetizing process when you hit 1K? Um, it took, because I did, I did all the steps when I first started this up. I think it was like three days. I was expecting a couple weeks, but it was like three days and the channel got approved. And I knew that I wouldn't get approved if I still had some of my gun videos on there, so I took those down when I first started this back up. Um, but yeah, I... Two, three days. That's about it. That's all it took. So... Anybody have an opinion on Cadence Reels? Have not tried the Cadence Reels. 13 fishing lures. What do I think? Dude, actually, that was a uh, first jerkbait fish. I caught on that 13. What is it? The uh, Loco Special 110. I think they're great. I think they're pricey AF. Super freaking pricey. But they work, and they look good. Um, that new swim bait, though, I'm skeptical on that. Those videos, I mean, they had that rolling in current. It looks like it's going to sink like a rock. I think it's going to be a great bottom swim bait. But I am kind of bummed out. They want 20 bucks for it, and it's not even pre-rigged. So I, I don't think I'm going to be jumping in on that. What's up, NTF? How you doing, dude? Speed Demon. Dude, yeah, I have the Speed Demon Pro. Yep. I have the Speed Demon Pro is actually sitting over there waiting for top water season to kick back off. I love that one. Freaking love it. But 13, yeah, I think 13 makes some really good stuff, but they are proud of it. They are very proud of that stuff. Talking about a jerk bait, you know, that you can get a Strike Pro jerk bait for maybe 10 bucks and they want 15 for it, something like that. I could be inflating, I don't know. But I did pick it up. I decided to splurge a little bit. See, Ken's just got a dial with Tatula 150. If I want, dude, you're gonna have to let me know what you think about the Tatula. I've been looking at those and checking them out. I'm very curious about those. Let's see here, Jason Beck waiting for trout season to start and then getting on those crappie. Dude, love me some crappie. Love crappie. That's probably one of my one of my top three favorite fish to eat. 100. percent I know we talked about six cents. I saw I saw. Uh, Oh, Big John talking about six cents. I love me some six cents. Those are definitely my my go-to hard baits. Love them. Curve 55. Now I got right there. Sooner take care, dude. I'm about to do the same thing. A lot of my gear is 13 fishing. Love them, but don't have one of their lures yet. Yeah, I mean their their baits are just coming up, man. They're definitely getting a lot, a lot more popular out there. First top water on the kayak last week. Dang, dude. That's awesome. Take care, full armor. Take care. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I got to get out of here. I got to go help put the kids in bed. So I appreciate you guys hopping on. Like I said, I know. I mean, I will be back to Wednesday nights next week. Um, again, this week was just kind of kind of crazy. Kind of crazy for me. So tackle warehouse order. Coming for river. I got one coming too. I got it sitting in my cart right now. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything that I need. Hope you guys want another Tackle Warehouse unboxing because I got another one coming in probably a couple weeks. So I'll see you all later. Take care. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Be safe. 100% be safe and go catch some fish.